Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be learning about machine to machine communication. All right, and I'll be explaining you why we need this also. All right, so for example, if you're logging into Gmail, you actually type user and password. But what if if your server is uh, connecting to another the server, there there is no human intervention is there. So how the other server will get to know like the, the request is coming from another server which is a valid server or not. So for example, if you have a two API, API one and API two, and if if API one is calling API two, how API two will get to know whether API one is a valid client or is a valid API or not. So just to make sure the API one is a valid one, we need machine to machine communication. So normally in case of the, let's say when you are logging into the system where user used to type user and password there, the client type used to be password or implicit. It depends on the, like what kind of mechanism they are using. So in case of machine to machine, it's going to be client credential. All right. So for this, uh, I have downloaded a boilerplate code. You could also do the same thing from this. So just download this code from here, identity server slash identity server four. So we'll be using this one. And what you could do, you can download their quick start from here I'll just show you yeah it's here there are many examples over here but in this video we'll be discussing on client credentials all right it has the components as you can see over here API client and identity server so API is the so the first service which will you know which will provide the data and the client which you wants to consume the data and identity server is the server which will you know give the token so the client can connect to the other uh, API all right, so just same thing will, uh, you know, uh, first I'll show you a demo, then we'll see how things are happening behind the scene. All right, so what I'll do, I have, as I have already downloaded all the code, let me run it. Okay, so this is, the, I'll just restart by the way, as it was already running. I have modified the code by the way, so you don't have to worry about that, you just download, it's going to work. Okay, so the server is up and running, now let's try to run the API. This is also running by the way, so I'll restart it. So you can see it's saying as it's running. In your case, when once you will download that quick start code, it won't uh, show this page because I have manually added this controller. All right, so no need to worry about that part. So now you can see the identity server and the API both are running. Now it's nothing but we need to run the client. So client is trying to connect to API and so for that it requires some token so for that what it will do i'll just show you that one let's run it okay so first uh, first it's what it's trying to do it's trying to connect to the server identity server and there we need to pass uh, pass this information like this is the client so that we need to pass uh, client id client secret and the scope so that it can you know get the token so as you can see, it got the token now. It's over here. Now this client uh, can connect to API. So the client API code, uh, sorry, the API URL is this one, home slash info. I'll just show you over there. You can see here home, and this is the uh, method which we are trying to connect. And debugger is also there. So once uh, I'll pass this, uh, I mean like F10, you can see the debugger is coming here, and now it will return whatever the data it has to return. I'll say F5, you can see it came here and it should be saying, yeah, it's a status is 200. Now you can see it got printed. All the whatever we are returning from the server, I mean, I need to release this one. You can see the content is printing over here. All right, so this we did from the code. Now, same thing I will show you from the postman. So you can see from the before that, I'll just want to show, I think I forgot to show you this endpoint. I'll rerun again. So from the code also what we were trying to do from the internal you can see it's pointing the same URL slash connect slash token. All right. So I'll release this. Let me close this one. Now what I'll do I'll just go here you can see this the API which I'll be calling to get the token. So connect slash token. And what I'm passing, you can see over here. I'm passing the same thing. Grant type is client credential so that we can do machine to machine authentication. And this is the client secret and the scope is the, uh, this, uh, this is the scope and the client ID is a machine to machine. This is the name which I have given in the server. I'll show you over there. You can see there is only one client. 
and once you go inside uh, this is the kind ID you can see this is nothing but M2M -M. okay you can give any name whatever you want it so let's try to hit that so you can see we got the token let's copy this now we'll try to go you know execute the same API home slash info so if I directly try to execute it's gonna give you 403 401 as you can see here unauthorized okay so for that we need to pass the token so since cop token is already copied I'll just click the old one paste it here and if I try to execute see the control is coming over here and, the, and if I release we should be able to see that uh, EBA content over here okay so it's working so the demo part is over now I'll, sh I'll, sh I'll explain you how the things are happening behind the scene so I'll just go back to this image again so here what you can see here from the assume this is the postman so I clicked on some URL I'm mean, like clicked on that URL to get the data so what it did first it's correct tried to connect to identity server slash connect slash token that on that URL tried to connect and asking for the token identity server identified okay this is the information which is correct and it's a valid client so that's why it's giving the token to the client what client will do client will uh, whatever information they want uh, the client wants from the server right or I mean to say the API in, our, in this example it will pass the peer the same token as the peer token and what this server will do I mean to say the API it will connect to identity server it will check whether the token is valid or not if the token is valid it will return the data to the client that's it same thing is opening uh, I mean happening over here so that is why you are able to see this uh, data all right that's pretty much uh, all about from this video thank you very much